Record numbers of migrants at the border, as Alex mentioned, with CBP sources predicting another record number in December. Meanwhile, Customs and Border Protection now say that over 240,000 people were apprehended at the border last month, setting a record for the highest November on record. For more on this, let's bring in former acting ICE director <clears throat> Tom Homan and a Fox News contributor. Tom. I want to get right to the numbers we're getting. And we got the D, uh, November numbers. The December numbers are on track to even break all records. We might even see a 300,000 month. What, what do you make of the situation right now? Because what all of my Border Patrol sources are telling me, literally all of them, is that this is truly a breaking point, the likes of which we've never seen. Well, look, I think you're right. I think December. When those numbers come in, it will be the highest month in history of any month of any year. And the Border Patrol is going to be 100 years old in, in another four months. And look, the Border Patrol is broke. I mean, I was down in Texas on the border with Texas DPS uh, uh, two weeks ago. I talked to many Border Patrol agents. They're broke. I mean, they, they, their spirits are broke. I mean, these, these men and women are, are beyond, you know, any hope of any help from this administration. They feel like they've been abandoned by the president. They've been abandoned by the Secretary of Homeland Security. They're, they're processing uh, illegal aliens 24-7. That's all they're doing. And they're in such a hurry to process. I talked to crew agents and said, they're not looking through pocket trash anymore for information, intelligence information about the organization that smuggled them, who they're paying, where they're going. They're not even able to do a deep dive into their identification. As you know, if you've been down there many times, they throw their identifications away south of the border. They get here, and usually it, it, it involves an investigative interview to find out who these people really are. And they can't even do that anymore because they're in such a push to process quick and release quick, they're not being able to do that, which is, again, cause another national security failure of who these people really are and why they're here. Yeah, and Tom, you know, this is an example of what's breaking their spirits. I want to show you a picture I posted on social media yesterday. This is from Eagle Pass a few days ago. This is a migrant. This is a gotaway. The cameras that the Border Patrol have at their remote headquarters areas where they set up, they can see things. They had no agents to respond to this guy in broad daylight walking across the border about 15 to 20 miles north of that port of entry where we see the thousands upon thousands arriving. They literally saw a guy carrying a rifle and they could not send anyone to apprehend him because they had nobody, Tom. This is not the job that the Border Patrol agents signed up for. And it's really just a snapshot of how bad it is. But yet, Secretary Mayorkas says he's going to Mexico to try and fix things. Is he going to be able to do anything? The, the, the Mexican immigration folks, I &M, are broke. They're out of money. Well, look. Uh, it, just this week, I know of four different sectors, four sectors on the southwest border where there wasn't a single Border Patrol agent on patrol. Not one. We're talking about hundreds of miles of border with no patrol because you're all processing. And, and, you're, and going to Mexico, have another meeting, it's it just, it, it, you don't need any more meetings. Mexico don't want to help us. Mexico made $61 billion last year in remittance payments from illegal aliens sending money back to Mexico. That's a big part of the GDP. They don't want to fix it. Plus, you're making billions of dollars because you got law enforcement are corrupt, a lot of the military is corrupt, a lot of the government's corrupt. They're making a mint on this whole thing, and they're being paid off by the cartels. They don't need another meeting. What they need to do is put the Remain in Mexico program back in today. They can do it. The highest courts of land said it was legal, and it was a game changer of the Trump administration. If they want to secure the border, like they say, put the Remain in Mexico program back in tomorrow. That would, that would make a big difference to securing this border. Tom, you talk about meetings. Speaker Mike Johnson, House Speaker Mike Johnson, is apparently going to go here in early January, I believe on January 3rd, down to Eagle Pass to hold uh, a press conference, to do some sort of something. Is this going to do anything? Look, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of the of dog and pony shows, right? I'm sick of all of them. Look, stay in D.C. and do your job. You, in midterms, you run on impeaching Mayorkas. I've been calling for Mayorkas impeachment for two damn years. If they can impeach President Trump from making a phone call 
They can certainly impeach Mayorkas for causing the biggest national security crisis I've seen in this nation since 9-11. Stay in D.C. and do your job. Impeach the secretary. That needs to be done. You made the promise to get it done. Get, have another dog and pony show on the border doesn't mean squat. We all know what's happening on the border. They all know what's happening on the border. Stay in D.C. and fight for the safety and security of this nation. Take some action. Secure the border. Impeach Secretary Mayorkas. That's what you should be doing. And lastly, Tom, uh, just before we run out of time, I released information this week. Uh, CBP sources telling me there was 386,000 notices to appear. So they released 386,000 out of 698,000 apprehensions. So that's more than half. And meanwhile, you got almost 80,000 gotaways. But could another administration, could you, if you came back in, can anybody house these people or do we just have to let them all go because they're such high numbers? Well, that's why you end the catch and release. That's why you put the Remain in Mexico program because you don't have these numbers. But William Lajones had a great story this week. I don't know if you've seen it, Griff, and I've worked with him on it. There are thousands of empty ice beds right now, already paid for. There is a facility in California, 2,000 bed facility. They got six people there. So they got nearly 2,000 empty beds already paid for by the taxpayers, but they're going to sit empty while they release people and put them in a New York City hotel, 500 bucks a night. This isn't mismanagement. I, I've said it a thousand times. This is by design. If you don't detain them, they know that most will get an order removal because they don't qualify for asylum. But if they're not in detention, they'll never leave. And they'll just wait around for the next amnesty, the next giveaway program. This is what this nation does over and over again. And catch and release, they can do that again today. They got thousands of empty beds already paid for by the taxpayers. Mm. And they need to fill them. Tom Homan, thank you for taking time. Have a Merry Christmas as we think about those Border Patrol agents that will be working around the clock, giving up time with their families to try and do what they can in a situation that is clearly surging out of control. Tom Homan, thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.